Um, if you could play any other sport, what would it be? Well, I played a lot of volleyball when I was at school, beach volleyball, and that was awesome. I, it was such a cool sport coming from Tauranga, you know, with, with the Mount Beach, best beach in the world. Um, we we used to play and, and have an awesome time out there. So I think probably beach volleyball, but then at the same time I've been I've been thinking lately that I'd quite like to get into like some multi sport events and um I I do like um do, do like running and not so much swimming but I'm sure if I trained hard enough I'd I'd be able to do it. It's a challenge and I like a good challenge so so maybe triathlons or yeah we'll, we'll see. We'll see how I go. Yeah, great. And you spoke a little bit about the nutrition side of things. Um, before a big game, what do you normally sort of load yourself up for with breakfast? So it obviously depends on, on what time our, our game is, but I'd usually have a meal about three hours before and make sure that it's pretty decent. Um, I Probably for breakfast, I'd, I usually go for eggs. Eggs yep. are my go-to. Yeah, pretty easy. Keeps me full, keeps me going. I did try muesli for a while a couple of years ago and it just doesn't really fill me up. I'm hungry by about 10 o'clock. Um, I eat quite a lot so eggs are definitely the way to go um, for me. So I'd say on, on a normal game day I'd, I'd definitely go eggs and sometimes sometimes porridge. Porridge yeah. can so be So no bacon thing. on the menu? Oh no. What? I mean probably not on game day. It's more of a it's more of a treat but I do like a good bit of bacon. Yeah, <laughs> Um, growing up, who was your favourite hockey player to follow um, down in the Midlands area or maybe a black sticks or international player? Probably growing up in, in, in Midlands or just in Tauranga there was always um, Jim. Jim was always Gemma Flynn. She was, a, she was probably a big one for me or one that I knew I remember watching one of the Tauranga girls games and someone pointing her out to me and saying, oh that's Gemma Flynn, she's so fast and I was just like, wow. Um, and then being lucky enough to play um, with her and then I played actually, it's quite funny because I played with, um, I played against when I was growing up with Sam Charlton and she was always, you know, really good and we were always a bit scared of her actually and now she's one of my best friends so, yeah, um, probably, I, I would, yeah, I'd say my, uh, oh, I guess are my two, I don't know, there's so many, so there's Mandy Smith and, um, and you know, Kayla Charland, Whitelock and Emily Naylor, there's so many people that you can look up to and we're lucky in New Zealand, we've got so many awesome players that stick around and the fact that I can play alongside them now it's pretty special. Yeah it's a pretty good group of um, um, ladies in the team at the moment. Um, obviously you don't really have too much spare time but uh, when you do what do you like doing, um, spending it with? Um, spending it with or spending it on oh, yeah. <laughs> probably spending spending money in some way. No, I, I love um, catching up with, with friends it's probably the best the best thing to do to get my mind off things and it's awesome talking I've got such an amazing group of um, girlfriends from school and and people that you know you, you don't it's the the standard question is and oh how's hockey going you know you've got more to talk about than just yeah. you know what each other are up to and and I think that's really important um yeah I probably I do like taking um nice nice breaks and making sure that I give myself a few treats every now and then so whether it's a massage or a facial I, I do enjoy a bit of pampering um, or just going on a, on a cool adventure, going on a walk or being adventurous generally doesn't involve a lot of the time sitting down I, f I get a bit fidgety if I, if I sit down for too long but um, yeah, no, probably catching up, drinking coffee, eating out yeah. Yeah. Um, That leads me on to another question about money is um, what would you spend your last $50 if I gave you $50 right now, what would you spend it on? $50. Well, my mum always told me that I need to save some, spend some, and give some. So, I'd save... No, I wouldn't, because it's my last $50. So, no, I'd, I'd try and save a little bit, I guess. I'd... What would I spend it on? Um, so, I'd give some away to some worthy cause. And then, in terms of... Oh, probably food. I like it would probably be food. Some yeah. sort of food. Yeah. Some sort of food. I don't know what else can you buy fifty dollars? Not much these days. It's an expensive no, it world that we live way. in. Yeah. Um, what do you think is the best feature of the Situ mouth guard for yourself personally? Uh, so I think probably the best feature is the fact that it's really small and lightweight, so you don't even notice it. I think when you're out playing hockey, uh, you're not wanting to be worrying about anything, and if your mouth guard's you know falling out or or just you know being a being a nuisance, it can actually really affect um, 
you, your focus in the game. So um, as well as being small and lightweight, uh, I can communicate easily and and um, and it also looks really cool. It's great colours. Um, so yeah, pro probably just just being um, in in the background and you don't even notice it, but you know it's giving the protection that you need. Great, so that's Rose uh, Cadell from the Black Sticks. Um, yeah, we'll be seeing her in the World Hockey League, so um, thanks for your time, and uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Thank you.